Hi, this is Christina Hills, and in this video, I want to show you how you would crop a picture into a circle. So here's just a few examples of photos that I have, and I want to make this nice circle image, meaning I want to crop my photo, which typically photos are square, into a circle. So I'm going to use this tool called iPicky to do it, and I'm going to walk you through the steps. So first I'm going to click on Edit a Photo, and then I want to open one from my computer. Now you could get one from a web image or a webcam, or you could create an image, but I'm going to start with a picture from my computer. And I have this picture right here. And I want to make an even circle, not an oblong. So the first thing I need to do is crop this into a square. See how this is rectangular? And I want to crop it into a circle. So I need to first make the image a square. So I'm going to come over here to the left side to crop picture. And see, you'll see this little um, window come up. And I want to switch this to square. And notice there's lots of different uh, sizes you could do. So I'm going to click on square and then I'm just going to drag the corners to cover what I want. Now remember when it's cropping into a circle it's going to cut out the edges. So you want to make sure you center it the way you would like it. And I think that's good. Maybe I'll go a little bit larger. All right, that's how I want to first crop it into a square. And I'm going to click on Apply. So now I have a square. So the next step is to come over here and go to Frames and click on Rounded Corners. And this is going to give me rounded corners. Now, if you wanted rounded corners, you could stop there. But I want a circle. So I'm going to come over here to the left and drag this radius all the way in to give me a circle. So now I've cropped that in and uh, I've dragged that in. Now I want to click on Apply to crop it. Now notice, see this little checkerboard pattern? That is showing me that this is going to be transparent. So why you want it transparent is so you can lay it on top of things and your background will show through. See how this is laid on top of this? That's because it has a transparent background. So you want this transparent background. Okay, so now I'm ready to save it to my computer. I'm going to click on Save My Computer and then I want to give it a name. So little red circle crop. Just, just name it something that will make sense to you. And notice this dialog box says your image has transparent areas. Save it as a .png. So you want to make sure you save it as a PNG. If you picked JPEG, then it would have white and it would not be transparent. So you're going to want it transparent. And then you're going to click save to my computer. And then you just pick the place on your computer and then you click save. Now as soon as it's saved there's this little ad here. So at first you might think, oh do I need to do this? But this little icon shows me that this is an ad. So either I could close the photo because I'm done or I could continue editing. That's up to you. I'm actually finished so I'll close the photo. And now I can start over with another picture or just close the browser to exit out. And that's it. That is how you crop a picture into a circle. This is Christina Hills.